could join me. Dude, you dude! Could, you, could you could join me. <laughs> I don't know if I... I, I like my yellow life. We can still be friends! <laughs> I'm somehow on a ladder. Ian, I'm somehow on a ladder. Look, how about this? How about this? Look, I will join you as red if you take me out fair and square. That is... Those those be the rules. Game on, Gumbo Bumbo. So in this video, I'm gonna show five traps to make Mumbo Jumbo a red light. So our first trap is the tree trap with a twist. So uh, you've already seen people like Joel, another red light, besides Brian, try to do this trap, but it didn't work. And of course, they'll see this tree and they want to defuse it, right? But when they try and go to defuse it, there'll be an observer right here. So for this trap, what I've done is you have the traditional tree trap with the observer and the TNT below it, but also you have four observers that are also linked to the same TNT. And for this video, I'll be using redstone lamps to show how the trap works. And then after that, I'll do a demonstration with the TNT. So how to make this trap is you first want to plant a sapling, grow a tree, and then you could just dig up the area beneath here. You want to place your first observer into the tree and then in the dirt around it you can place your other observers. So one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. And what you'll do is when you have your trap all set up you can just light this area with TNT. And here's the trap in action. Okay, I just came back from a mining trip and oh, it looks like someone planted a tree here. This is probably a tree trap. Nice trap. And I'm gonna go and defuse it. Let's break down here. Uh, oh no, there's an observer. What am I gonna do? And you blow up. So the second trap is a farming trap. So on the last life server, a lot of people will have farms. But in the episodes, the basically the crops get trampled a lot. Eventually, someone's gonna try to go and re-kill the land so that they can have either more farmland or fixed up this farmland that has been trampled on. So this is how you set up this trap. So the second trap is quite simple. Basically, what you want to do is you want to set up an observer and TNT. Remember, I'm just using the redstone lamp for the example part. And what will happen is. Since the observer observes any block change, when you basically hoe this dirt, they'll send a red cell signal down there. And this trap will blend like completely right in. So basically, let's say when they try to go and retill the dirt, it'll explode. And here's the trap in action. Okay, it's time to do some farming. Let's collect some of these crops. And oh, well, oh, let's hoe some of this farmland because it kind of got broken. Someone must have trampled that. You can plant some seeds. So our third trap has to use the daylight sensor and a lot of TNT. So how this trap works is you have a daylight sensor here and when it's daytime it's off and there's no signal here. But when it turns to nighttime, it's basically strong enough to power the redstone all the way down here and blow up a bunch of TNT. So how you lure someone in here is you can say that you set up like a new shop or something, right? And you lead them down the alleyway. And yeah, this is this hole here just so I can show you. And what you have here is you have a clock, so you can check when it's turned nighttime. So you bring them in here to daytime. And you talk for a bit, and then when it turns nighttime, you will be able to so you have to go grab something and you go in and box yourself in and you'll box yourself in and then a TNT will blow up and everyone but you will die because you are safe in this little like box and also you could also have this little pathway so just in case they don't come in time you can go over here and just break one of the redstone so it cuts off the signal to the TNT so here is this trap in action Oh, so you have a shop to show me? Okay, let's go. It's called the TNT shop, okay. Go talk for a minute, blah blah blah. Oh, yo, okay, you just have to grab something real quick? Okay. 
Guess I'll just wait here by myself and play with a clock. So our fourth trick is uh, basically a really good deception and it basically kills all the people who are trying to take your valuables. So you could basically like hide your chest under here, but this right here is a trap chest. So it's actually uh, connected to the redstone that will emit a redstone signal. But basically if you put it against a wall like this and you just put one grass block or like one dirt block, when you open it, you can just open it from this angle like you can't really see the redstone. And especially if you put it against the wall. Aha! Uh -huh. See someone going in their valuable chest. I know where it is now. Oh look, they left. Let's go raid them. Okay, I'm here at their valuable chest. And they put a piece of cobblestone there. Kinda stupid. They put it they should have put stone. Now let's just uh break this and open their valuable chest. Okay, there's nothing in there. Kinda strange. Oh my gosh, I just died. So this is the last trap and it is a troll trap. So this is the sussy among us imposter trap statue and basically when they try to go and take down this abomination, there'll be an observer here. And the observer of course is attached to uh, some TNT. And you can also just put this right in the middle of nowhere so most people won't think much about it. But when someone goes and breaks the block, they of course will be killed. And you know, this trap is pretty simple to set up. You just set up, just set up an observer to some TNT and make uh, the Sea Among Us imposter statue. And bonus points if you can get some red wool because, you know, red sun. Yeah, and now uh, here is this trap in action. Oh no, is that a sussy Among Us imposter? I better go take that statue down because no one likes this game. It's a dead game and it's old and it's an abomination. I'm gonna start and take down this statue. Wait, was that an observer? Oh no, I died. So, thanks for watching this video, I hope that some of these traps you found cool and can maybe use on your own server and I doubt that anyone from the Real Last Life server will watch this video but if you are watching this video, I like your content. Okay, thanks for watching, have a nice day and goodbye.